Good morning and welcome to my channel to Get Her Out number 12. This is a one of a series of um, of heads on a multi-head engine and um, uh, it's got a, a, a badly damaged bolt. They've, they've tried to drill it, they've tried to apply heat to it uh, and uh, they've called me in. I've picked it up from the uh, from their workshop. I'm just about to redo, to get that, get her out clean up the thread and return this to the rightful owner so they can carry on doing the rest of the work on the engine. Um, now this is a, some of these engines are, are imperial, some are metric, this one's an imperial one um, and it, uh, I've ascertained that that's 716 UNC and according to my, um, my chart, uh, the unified course 716 um, 14 TPI needs a 9.4 millimeter drill hole. What I intend to do is to get rid of the top of this until I can come down flush with the face. Uh, they haven't asked me to face this, it would have been a good idea, but they haven't asked for it, so I won't be doing it. I don't know uh, uh, what, they, what they really want to do with this. Um, now, the the chart I use, I, I have many, but this one is, uh, I'll bring it forward, see if you can see it there. This is, my, this is produced by Goliath uh, in Australia, and it has, um, it has here, like many of these charts, um, the, the size, the pitch, and the drilling diameter, all metric. Um, this is isometric coarse, isometric fine, isometric fine continued. Uh, then there's flutless taps, um, there or roll taps, whatever you like to call them. Over here, unified coarse, unified fine, British Standard Whitworth, British Standard fine, British Standard uh, BA, British Association. On the flip side is is brass, which is a 26 TPI, uh, British Standard pipe fittings, um, British Standard pipe thread RC series. That's a BSPT, the tapered and a national uh, standard or NPT and then what I've done is I've got my wife to laminate this and this one's in my toolkit uh, here in the workshop and it's very handy quick reference this doesn't cover all the threads of course but it's a good quick reference for me so that's what I use here now we'll go ahead and uh, get rid of this um, uh, get rid of the top of this using a um, uh, two, uh, two, uh, two insert little cutter um, and we'll give that a go and we'll, we'll clean that top off at first. I think we'll go, we'll go across to high speed and run at about, about 9.50 rpm. Um, so. Is that like in the middle of something? I can't talk to you about it. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so now We'll attack this and chew this off. I just normally do this manually, it's a lot easier. Um, control. We'll take it down a bit more. Nothing scientific about this, I'll just hack it away. You can see it's quite quite a hard start. What this also gives us is less to get out. And uh, 
easier to see where, where we go to. I really think this needs to be machined post getting rid of this, but I'll ask the client if he wants me to do that. If so, I'll set it up separately. Okay, so we've got, oh, needs a bit of air. I only turned the compressor on uh, when I need it. No point in wasting power. Okay, so what this has also uh, allowed us to see is the periphery and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how, how far I can go um, with this centre centre drill first. Hopefully they haven't broken anything down below there. But these, these ones have a notch in them so you must make sure you're opposite the opposite the keyhole and not on not picking up one of the um, the jaws. So we'll go down here and we'll see if we can find the the centre. Try that. Pretty good there, with just a fraction in the Y, fraction in the X. Okay, so we've got we've got ourselves a very very good centre there. Um, now the tapping diameter for this um, 716 according to the chart is a 9.4 we might go see if we can go straight in with that 9.4 I'm not even going to attempt to actually pull this um, this bolt out I just want to go straight in and, uh, and drill it out and then if we need to we'll put a coil in it if we don't we don't Cut it down there about 700 odd. Doesn't like something in there. We're pretty much on the money there. See there, we're actually picking up the thread. Um, I might try a left handy and see what, if we get any encouragement from that. There's a smaller one, but we'll see how this one goes. We may have luck here that I hadn't planned on. Now we'll go backwards, of course.
right and through. And through with that. And as you can see, we've picked up some of that thread. Um, so that's the largest lefty I have here. I'll try with a 9mm, see if that picks the thread up. So we're, under, we're under the actual tapping size. Definitely got a little hard spot there. We've got some of that thread already wants to come out. Not all of it, but some of it does. I'm taking the edge off that nine. with a slower speed on this. Um, go down to low. pick this up um, we'll have a go with a slightly larger one if we had two or three more threads I would go down with the thread tap I'll go down with the with the tapping size 9.4 see what that tells us Picked up a fair bit of that now. Give it a rag here. I'm going to zero that. And wander away and see how we go with the tap. I'm using the tungsten tap here, I call them the get out of jail taps. I don't like them, I much prefer the high speed steel, good quality taps. In the end they're cheap. breaking up in there. Well, 
what's important is it's not the sound of breaking of a tap breaking up. That could be um, painful. We are making progress. Once again, I can see just the edges of the thread there. Um, bits of rubbish on the end of the tap. More of our good juice. Normally I don't use any sort of fluid in um, cast iron. However, because we are we're actually um, in, in steel here, it's uh, acceptable. Remember with the hole we've got starting to bind up. One of the problems we have with the cast iron, especially old cast iron that has been badly burnt, um, is the tendency to tear the taps to pieces. And um, with the hardness of the of the cast iron has a tendency to take the, the edge off the tap so they need to be constantly resharpened or thrown away and replaced we're getting somewhere we haven't got to China yet we're having a go at it take that back out again Yeah, we're breaking it, we're breaking it all up. We haven't got much left in there now. Give it a bit more juice. Today we picked up the last of it. There it is. That's what's left of the bolt. Um, the start, I should say. So we just give it a, uh, a quick clean out there of some of this nasty brake cleaner stuff. Last turn down just to make sure we're clean. Get her out number 12 has been a success. Uh, we'll um, move on.